Today I'm going to be making a really simple and fluffy buttercream icing for St. Patrick's Day. And here are the ingredients that we need. Two cups of confectioner sugar. This is also called powdered sugar or icing sugar. A quarter cup of salted butter. A quarter cup of vegetable shortening. Some green food coloring. One tablespoon of milk. And a half a teaspoon of vanilla. So those are the ingredients, so let's get started. For our first step, I'm going to get our butter and our shortening into a large bowl. So we'll grab our mixer, and I just want to mix both of these fats together. So just combine them up, get a little bit of air into them. And my butter is not completely warm, but it's not rock solid hard either. You want to be able to cream this. That's good like that. I can get my little bit of vanilla in now. Okay, that's good. I'll get in about half of my milk. And then I'm going to start adding in my powdered sugar. Powdered sugar is also called confectioner sugar or icing sugar. Three different names, but it's all the same. So I'm going to sift this in. And since there is no cocoa powder in here, you can just push it through with your fingers. If you were using cocoa powder, you do want to use the back of a spoon because your fingers will be full of cocoa powder. That's perfect like that. I'll grab my mixer. Start mixing this in. And then I'm just going to pour the rest of the milk in. You can see all of a sudden it's starting to come together. And there we have it. You can see that it's turned into a beautiful buttercream now. So at this point I'm going to add in a little bit of green food coloring. I have a little syringe here, a little dropper, eye dropper, and I'm just going to put in a little bit of green. And how much green you put in depends on how green you want it. So I'm going to get my mixer going so I can really tell what the color is going to be before I add too much in there. So if you wanted a very light green, you could already see that this is enough in there. I'm going to add in a little bit more. We'll try that for now. And that's starting to look really, really nice. And this frosting is going to be for a St. Patrick's Day cake that we're making. So there will be a link to that cake underneath this video in the description box. Now I'm going to increase my mixer. I do want to get some air into my frosting. And I'm going to add in a little bit more food coloring. A few more drops. And I'll say that's perfect. So you want to get a lot of air incorporated into your beautiful buttercream. And that looks good. Just like that. So there we have it. We're already done. My super fast buttercream frosting for St. Patrick's Day. I'll just grab some here. I'll show you how nice this is. You can see how fluffy this is. And as this firms up, you can put this in the fridge for about 15 minutes, re-whip it, and this pipes out really well and it will hold its shape really well as well. But you can see how creamy, really, really nice this is. Beautiful. And we're going to be using this in our cake. So that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you next time.